wet. Luckily I had on my foul weather gear. Waterproof pants, waterproof jacket, waterproof cell phone. Still wet though. Today, today I'm gonna be unboxing my new camera. Okay, camera unboxing. First, I really like this hat. Thank you for sending it to me. Uh, as I mentioned in an earlier vlog about my new gear setup, my main shooter now is this thing, the Sony a6500. This is what I used to use. This thing is much, much smaller. I also am constantly impressed with the image quality of this. Jake and I shot a video for Beam last week and we shot half of it on his gigantic red in 8K. And we shot the other half on this little guy. Cut them together, hard to distinguish one from the other. But I wanna get back to when I used to have this dorky camera sack on my hip at all times. I used to call this my daily carry, like my sidearm. My old daily carry was a Canon G7X. I still highly, highly, highly recommend this camera. It's stellar, it's dependable, it's tough, it's low light, is incredible. It's not 4K. The Sony RX100 Mark V. Very excited about this little guy. Now, I used the, the previous version. The image was stellar. The image was better than the um, Canon, but it wasn't that dependable and the focus sucked. Huh? All right, so this is a test of the Sony RX100 Mark V versus the Sony A7R2. This image right here is coming off of a camera and lens combination that's about $5,000. And this is off this little point and shoot, which is, I don't remember how much this thing costs, but it's around $1,000. What do you think of the quality difference? It looks good, all right. I'm checking the focus on this thing, ready? Focus behind me, focus in front of me. Mm, kind of slow. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Okay, focus over there. Focus on me. This is how you vlog. You're filming something cool and then you switch it to your face and you're like, hey, that was really cool. And when you say that part, it should be in focus. And it's not. Uh, maybe I didn't set the autofocus right. All right, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't judge this thing on this shot alone. I will give it an exhaustive test. Um, but I'm very excited about it. And, uh... Until then, it will live right, right there on my hip. You think you got everything you need? Yeah, I did, thank you very much. When's the party? Um, next week. Worldwide celebration, though. It's, it's gonna be good. Thanks for the trip down memory lane. I know, good to it's see you. It's a pleasure. Hope those pictures work. Right, I love you, man. Peace! Look, ready? Rel, me, Rel, Van, Rel, Van, Rel, Casey, Van, Casey, Rel, Van, Casey, smoking cigarettes, and Rel. That was an unannounced, unexpected visit from my friend Rel, short for Ariel. Rel's one of my oldest New York City friends. He's having a huge party next week to celebrate like the 10 year anniversary of him starting his production company. He was here to dig through all of my old photo archives for this like bar mitzvah wedding kind of slideshow they're gonna play during the party. Through that digging through the archives process, we stumbled upon this gem. Let me, let me set this video up. This video is from 2007. This is a decade ago. And my brother Van and I were hired to shoot some videos in, in Colorado. I think I've told you this story before. And instead of doing that, we like bought a van and a little mini bike and we tried to remake the movie Dumb and Dumber. Just when I think you couldn't possibly be any dumber. And Rel, who came with us, Rel and I tried to remake that exact scene. I apologize for the low video quality. In 2007, they did not have 4K. Where the hell did you get that? From some kid in town. Traded him straight up to the van. You know something, Casey? Just when I thought you couldn't get any dumber, you go and do something like this and totally redeem yourself! <laughs> we're really doing it! Can you believe how young we were? All right, I have to go downstairs to beam now. Uh, actually, 
I've got kind of a big beam announcement today. A second ago, we were having April the giraffe up on the projector. Did she have the baby? It's supposed to be today. Why does it say Toys R Us? <laughs> are they sponsoring the... No baby? It smells like burning down here, Jake. It smells like a little like fire. No? Yeah, I think they're uh, building a small fire. How much harder would this channel be to watch if I was always lit like this? <laughs> <laughs> Big announcement. Big announcement. Does it look better with these lights on or is this just ridiculous? We don't even need lights. We're just gonna tell the camera that you're joining the team. Like it's not a whole like it's not like there's not a whole lot to do. No, we gotta have a beautiful three-point lighting setup. Okay. Do you want me to roll in on a chair? Yeah, I think that I think you're a dramatic entry where you roll in on a chair. Yeah. Okay, the big announcement is Jake Roper has joined the Beam team as our director of production, which is a pretty big deal. That's the whole announcement. That's it. But I will still be having my own YouTube channel, Vsauce3. Still be doing my own thing, but also uh, working here at Beam, making awesome secrets. It's, a, it's exactly like, it's a, exactly like, I mean, I still have my YouTube channel to make videos like this. Jake's still gonna be doing his YouTube channel, but together with the rest of the force, including, are you? I'm recording this on your phone? Oh yeah, vertically though. <laughs> Alright, that's it. I still haven't really explained what we're doing at Beam. Maybe next week we make a video for Yeah, that. I think next week. I'm pumped, Jake. Me too. I gotta go home. It's still pouring rain outside. And I mean like really, really coming down out there. Certainly I could take a taxi cab or an Uber or something, but I'd rather just put on the foul weather pants, save myself the, uh, the $11, and ride my skateboard home. Foul weather pants, reflective piping, high visibility jacket, reflective stripes, tail light, front lights, eye protection. Let's see how this goes. Riding a boosted board through New York City in the pouring rain is just like a double, double terrible idea. It is wet! <laughs>